This is Lion Cub. I'm in position. Roger that, Lion Cub. This is Mama Bear. What do you see? Tangos. Three of them. Quick question. Yes? Why are you Mama Bear if I'm Lion Cub? That makes no sense. Cyril comes up with the code names. He failed zoology. Wait. I've got three new Tangos. Nigel and two of his goons. One of them is holding a briefcase. Can you hear what they're saying? No. I'll get closer. Crikey, Mr. Reese! It's been a while! Yes, I suppose it has. Any idea why your boss set the meeting up in the middle of nowhere? Crikey, I had to hike two miles to get here. Tough to AKA. <laughs> Oh, gotta go take a piss. All right, lad. Remember, aim down this time. Yeah, bud. Oh, bloody wanker. Oh, I swear on me, mum, if you're doing that again. Oh, shit. Get him! What are you doing, mate? Renegotiating.
Agent Byrne, please take a seat. This is Evan Byrne, the agent who witnessed the deal in Australia. Byrne, this is Bob Gold from the CIA. Actually, I think it's pronounced Gould. It's pronounced Gold. Well, it says... Gentlemen, please. We have matters to attend to. Right. What do we know about him? The man you encountered in Australia is named Calvin Reese. He's an ex-military contractor who now works as the head of security for Panther Enterprises, a British corporation headed by one Quintus Panther. Panther is a well-known social activist originally from Southampton, but now he lives on an island he calls Panther K, not too far off the Gold Coast of Florida. The company is based in Boca Raton. Ah, the poor man's Palm Beach. At the CIA, we want to talk about this shit at our meetings. We discuss real things that matter to our national security. Like what? Waterboarding? Hey, don't knock it till you try. It's like role play with drowning. Enough, damn it. After the incident in Australia and the other data we've pulled on Panther, we've decided he's planning a major operation. That's why we're forming a joint CIA Martini investigation to decide what else he's up to. We've been monitoring Panther for months now, and with all due respect, the CIA should really get this mission. Martini was founded by the United States and the United Kingdom solely to protect the world from global domination plots from megalomaniacs like this. This is right up our alley. Besides, Byrne is a highly qualified agent who saved the world numerous times. Eight, actually, I counted. Plus, I didn't even break a sweat on the last one, so... Weren't you in the Arctic for the last one? Still. Anyway, Byrne, you'll be assigned a CIA agent partner. Your flight for South Florida departs in two hours. Tonight, Panther's attending an art sale in Palm Beach. You'll be in attendance and you'll meet your contact there. Meeting dismissed. I'm out. Bureaucratic prick. That'll be your field soon. To think that in the fall you'll be a full-blown CIA agent. You got any new toys for me? Actually, as a matter of fact, I do. I got this from the lab downstairs. Thanks, W, but I already have a pen. Yeah, but this isn't just your average pen. It's filled with an advanced painkiller instead of ink. If you're ever in trouble, just inject it into your arm and it'll make a world of difference. Also, the guys downstairs put a small camera in it so you can take spy selfies. Pretty cool, right? Not really. Well, don't you look ravishing. Shit. Don't tell me you're my contact. I won't. How's the CIA? Have you waterboarded anyone yet? Stop with the waterboarding. It's a stereotype. They exist for a reason. You know, even if I hadn't finished Martini last year, I still wouldn't give you the time of day. That's alright. I've got a watch. I'm over you. I wish I could say the same. to represent the Earth, a small blue planet in a vast sea of nothingness. Tell me, what do you see? A tiny square painted by a lazy artist. <laughs> I used to think that way as well. Then I learned to expand my mind. Now I see the deeper meaning in everything around me. Quintus Panther. Burn! Evan Byrne. The pleasure is mine. What brings you here tonight, Mr. Byrne? Business! My boss wanted some new decorations for the office. You? <laughs> to appreciate the art. Imagine one day very soon, all of this gone. Where will you be at the end of the world, Mr. Byrne? Probably a cocktail party. Aha! Splendid idea! Ah! 
Excusez-moi, mi amigo will have... Hawaiian pineapple vodka martini, please. Shaken, of course. And you? Uh, oh, heavens no, I don't drink. The usual, please? You know, you ought to visit my island. I'll show you around the compound and the yachts. My prized possession is a private submarine. I call it the Balls Deep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come, come. Let us gaze upon the marvels of modern art in shell form. <laughs> I thought you liked to reduce your carbon footprint. Sometimes, Mr. Brown. Sometimes. Any reason why you don't drink? Alcohol is but a societal construct, one that keeps the class systems in place. See the rich, they can drink hundred-year-old scotch while the poor are forced to drink screw cap shitty wine. But juice, the nectar of fruits, it's Mother Nature's breast milk. How do you do, Pantherin? My wonderful associate, Mr. Calvin Reese. Reese, find someone who works in this establishment and tell them I would like to purchase this magnificent display of shells. They speak to me. Yes, sir, Mr. Panther. Mr. Panther! Mm -hmm. Nice to finally meet you. I'm this is Sophie Redmond, my girlfriend. Oh. She's a journalist. Oh. I'd hoped you'd be single. But in good fortune, I will invite you to my Panther Ecological Foundation convention on my private island tomorrow. Perhaps you could have a little interview. Oh, sure. Splendid! <laughs> I'll get you the address. Mid the island by 10 tomorrow. Panther doesn't like it when you're late. It's British. We won't be. Is that the spy from Australia? Yes, it is. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> Miss Redman and Mr. Band. If you would please hand over your firearms, Mr. Panther is morally opposed to the sale and use of guns. Then how come he has an island full of armed guards? Because reasons. Now hand them over to Butch. This island has been in Panther's family for generations. He prides himself on keeping it entirely undeveloped and oftentimes meditates in the jungles to connect himself more socially with nature. What? He wants to start already? Alright, I'll be there soon. I'm sorry, my presence has been requested. I'm afraid Butch will have to escort you to your rooms. What? Aren't you going to say something witty? No, I... Uh... I can't think of a snappy comeback. Are we sticking to the plan? Yes, you check out the halls and residences. I'll check the western sector of the island. Evan! Good luck! You made it. You too, dearest.
everyone. Shall we begin? Today is the culmination of a very important project of mine. About two years ago, I was looking over a form, and of course there were options and a gender for male and female, but none for walrus. And it made me think, what kind of, of world do we live in where someone cannot identify as a walrus? Why would they identify as a walrus? Because they fucking feel like it, Phil! As I was saying, it got me thinking about all the oppression But how could world. a human be a walrus? That's not even biologically Hush, possible. Phil, I only use science when it supports my argument. But as I was saying, People cannot express themselves enough, and it made me realize that as a privileged white male, I have a duty to share that privilege with the world and give it what it needs the most. Behold, say hello to the WMD to end all WMDs. I call it Puma. Projectile utilized for mass annihilation. You just wanted it to spell Puma, didn't you? Yes. Yes, I did. Because Puma sounds cool. Feel. How does it work? Oh! These are what we have been developing for the past two years. They are supersonic bombs that emit a pulse when detonated, causing water molecules to vibrate so closely together that they cause friction and thus heat. Ow! About a week ago in Australia, Reese fetched me some satellite to surface weapons targeting software that was stolen from the Chinese. When launched at the poles later today, the ice caps will be liquefied, spurring massive rises in sea level. It will be like Al Gore's wet dream, literally. <laughs> With finally no other options, a global force will unite to combat global warming. And at the forefront, the hero, the savior, will be me with my Panther Ecological Foundation. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, walruses, the time has come for a progressive new world to open up. Where everyone can live free, we are all passengers on the spaceship we call Earth. Warriors fighting for tomorrow, fighting for social justice, we will not yield! No one can stop us now. I don't feel we're all on the same page here. Could everyone please display a level of understanding on a scale from one to four, with one being the lowest and four being the highest? Fingers up! Yeah, guys, to move forward, I'm really gonna need to see those four point those. so... Oh! Phil, please hold up your fingers on a scale from one to four so I can see where you are with everyone else. Reese! Glad we all understand. Cross is missed. Oh, poor kitty. Please get a new one when you find the chance. Mr. Ben, what a surprise! <laughs> How do you like my OOTD? You have an STD? What? No! Outfit of the day! Someone should really spend some more time on Urban Dictionary! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shush! Sorry, I must spend too much time reading The Economist. Oh, that's no excuse. You know what I did? I bought two iPads so I could have BuzzFeed on one and Huffington Post on the other. 
Or you could have opened a new tab and saved $500. No, no, you just don't understand my unique thought process. I'm special, then. My participation medals prove it. To be like me, you have to be unique. The stuff I do for people. I'm like Jesus. It is not easy, Ben. It is not easy. I mean, why can't everyone just conform to my tolerant, free-thinking ways? Everyone always says I'm right. Everyone always agrees with me, and then the outliers come with all their facts and statistics, and they say I'm wrong, so... So then I actually have to do my own research and venture away from the entertainment section on msnbc.com. Oh, the struggle is real, Burn. Oh, the struggle is so real. Do you ever stop to think about how you come across? Or are you too busy sipping on Starbucks to care? <sighs> hey, a mocha latte frappuccino is a physical manifestation of transcendentalism. If Henry David Thoreau were alive today, he'd be a barista. In ten minutes, Puma will melt the ice caps. I have the controls right here. <laughs> oh, it is so unfortunate, Mr. Byrne, that you won't live to see my progressive new world. Breaks my heart. Oh, I see how it is. Fine! I'll just leave Reese to feed you to the shark. <laughs> Are you high or something? There's no shark. Oh, it cost millions of dollars in genetic research to splice shark and chameleon DNA, but it worked all right. It's invisible. What? Why would you need an invisible shark? Because it's cool! Why don't you just shoot me? Well, I will admit I considered it, but there's just no fun in it. <laughs> well, I must be going now to rendezvous with the bulls deep. Toodaloo! Who's ready for a swim? You tell me. I guess even sharks like Reese's Pieces. There's always in my way. He was too clingy. Christ on a bicycle. Burn, you're so beneath her league. <laughs> A bit judgmental, aren't we? Wickety wickety what? I'm not judgmental. I just criticize other people based on what they do say and who they date because it makes me feel better about myself. <laughs> oh, so you're insecure. What? I'm not. <laughs> Here, you'll feel better. <clears throat> get that bastard. I'll try to get the code.
shows the thug lies, Mr. Byrne. It ah, shows ah, me. For Christ's sake, didn't you go to Cambridge? Why, yes, as a matter of fact, I do major in gender studies and anthropology. Ah, 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 ah. T minus 30 seconds. Oh, well, maybe you can. Evan, do you have the code? I'm a little short on time. 0520-2016. Five. Countdown aborted. Evan, it's over. <laughs> As I say, Neil, promise to burn. It's not over to the plus-size woman. I think they say that. I heard everything meticulously planned out. To the last detail. Then you came along and fucked everything up. Sounds like my love life. Are you all right? Yeah, it turns out it was just a flesh wound. Where's Panther? I think he got the point. Stop it. <laughs> so you're done with Martini, it's over. Yeah, I've just got a couple more weeks until graduation, the whole tux and bow tie ceremony, and then that's it. I can finally coast to the finish. So what do we do now? I've got a couple ideas. Wait. We saved the world, killed the bad guy, and now we're gonna make out? Doesn't that seem a bit... cliche? I prefer the term... classic. <laughs>